Hi, this is Dr. Mark Hyman. Welcome back. You may be eating something that's killing you and not even know it. You know, if you eat a cheeseburger or french fries or drink six Cokes a day, you likely know you're shortening your life. But eating a nice, dark, crunchy slice of whole wheat bread, how could that be bad for you? What is it in bread that can kill you? It's gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, rye, spelt, cammon, and oats, and it's hidden in most processed foods. You see, gluten is the staple of the American diet. Pizza, pasta, bread, wraps, rolls, you name it. And the scariest finding is that 99% of people who have a problem with eating gluten don't even know it. They ascribe their ill health or their symptoms to something else, not gluten sensitivity, which is 100% cured. A review paper in the New England Journal of Medicine listed 55 diseases that can be caused by eating gluten, that protein found in wheat, barley, rye, spelt, cammon, and oats. These included osteoporosis, arthritis, irritable bowel, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease, anemia, cancer, fatigue, canker sores, and almost all autoimmune diseases. They also include many psychiatric and neurologic diseases, including anxiety, depression, schizophrenia, dementia, migraines, epilepsy, neuropathy, or nerve damage. Gluten has even been linked to autism. In order to correct many of these diseases, you don't need to treat the symptoms, but treat the cause, which is gluten in so many. That's not to say that all cases of depression or autoimmune disease or any of the other problems associated with gluten are caused by gluten in everyone. But it is important to look for it if you have any of those chronic illnesses, or any chronic illness, in fact, I believe. Gluten can be the single cause behind many different diseases. These diseases are not treatable with better medication, but simply 100% elimination of gluten in the diet. The question then is, why are we so sensitive to this staff of life, the staple of our diet? Well, the reasons are many. They include our lack of genetic adaptation to grasses, particularly gluten in our diet. Now keep in mind that American strains of wheat have a much higher gluten content, which is needed to make those fl fluffy, light Wonder Bread and Giant Bagels. This super gluten was recently introduced into our agricultural food supply and has now infected nearly all wheat strains in America. But how many people does the problem really affect? Well, more than you think, especially in the population who is chronically ill. Problems with gluten are widely underdiagnosed. The most serious form of allergy to gluten, celiac disease, affects one in a hundred or three million Americans, most of whom are not diagnosed. But milder forms of gluten sensitivity are even more common, affecting up to one third of the American population. Now while tests can help you identify this condition, the only way you'll really know if it's a problem for you is to eliminate all gluten for a short period of time, like two to four weeks, and see how you feel. But you have to be 100% gluten free, no exceptions, no hidden gluten. And then eat it again and see what happens. This teaches you better than any test. If you feel badly in any way, then you will need to be permanently off gluten.